What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, I got the opportunity to drive my dream car. The car that we're working towards for 2022, guys. Hopefully, hopefully we're gonna achieve this dream by the end of this year. And it's been a dream that I've had on my YouTube channel since day one. I believe since 2014, which is absolutely insane. So the fact that I got the honors to drive this car is insane. So before I actually get into this video, guys, I actually shot this complete video with my boy Nick, and as you guys can see right now, I'm probably gonna be talking right here, and there's no audio, absolutely no audio. Um, the quality of everything was super, super, super nice, and we did like an entire POV, a uh, bunch of driving clips, bunch of like good stuff all up in this. A lot of funny moments as well, but unfortunately, um, since this is a new camera, I messed up. Either I messed up or something went up with the settings. I don't know, I literally got home, I pressed record on the camera again, and the audio was just back so I don't know exactly what happened when I went out there hopefully this doesn't happen again because honestly I wish I kind of knew what happened so we can avoid this and I won't have like no audio in my videos um, happen again if you guys know what I mean but anywho guys it was an absolute insane experience check this out so so good shout out to my boy Nick for letting me experience that car allow me to actually drive that car if you guys don't know Nick Nick is one of the founders of BMA European and I just I just cannot believe I got to drive such an amazing car and experience my dream car today definitely helps you manifest the dream if I could actually sit in it drive it I can own it one day definitely that is something that we're gonna be working towards on this channel and it's hopefully something you're gonna be accomplishing by the end of this year it is gonna be slightly off to a long shot but it is possible as long as you put in the work but yeah guys right Right off to checking out the R8, we had to go check up on our baby, which is the Supra, and uh, check out the news on that. Guys, officially back with the Supra. It's just chilling like a villain. We have the door on there, the quarter pan on there. Now there is a slight little gap right there still. Unfortunately, there are still a little bit of some gaps right there, but the side skirts lining up with the door. The door gaps are all good from here to here. Everything's looking really good over there and also up here. This is all perfect. This can all get pretty much uh, like fiberglass and then a little bit of Bondo. This will look absolutely perfect. But as for right now, guys, I'm just happy it's all pulled out and it's all looking super good and the door closes and everything looks super good. Even the window comes up. I'm happy this is working with the window. But anywho, guys, I'm actually going to try to get this thing breaking light and smog inspected right now um, on the way back home. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and slap on that side mirror and uh, just take on our first drive. Well, technically, we've already took on our first drive, but the first drive trying to get this thing ready for smog. the mirror 
back on the car and we're going to put away all the tools. Again, we're gonna head out, try to hit braking light and smog today. If we could pass it all, that'd be ideal. If anything, I think we'll do good on braking light today, but uh, smog, it might take us some time just because I don't know if the car is gonna be ready on this short drive there, but if it is, that'd be pretty sick. So guys, we have some good news, and that's the fact that the car is officially back home, braking light inspection passed with no issues, obviously. Like literally the front end and the rear end were perfect in this car, it was just side damage. And the only thing on the side that has anything to do with braking light is just this one light over here. We didn't even have any suspension damage, so no brake issues, nothing like that. Even checked underneath both sides, it's like, dude, this thing's absolutely perfect. And I was like, I know, man, I know, man, God bless. So yeah, thankfully, since we had the mirror on there, the lights worked, everything worked, braking light inspection passed with no problems. And on top of that, actually, the small Smog passed with no issues. Even though the battery was disconnected at the body shop the entire time, the 15 minute drive got it ready for smog super quickly. So this thing is like <laughs> mint. Now as you guys can see, I put a lot of tape over here because I don't want all these new pulls that they did at the frame shop to rust out or anything like that. As you guys can see over here, it lines up really, really, really perfect. All this lines up really, really, really good. Um, when you open up the door, um, you guys can see what they ended up doing. So all this that was pushed inside the cabin was perfect now. Um, so as you guys can see from the inside, he did a great job to where it doesn't look like anything has been damaged back here. Now, as far as all this, he did basically a million pulls to get it to where it's at right now. But since his only job is to do frame, he pulled everything out, kind of shaped it to where it's like almost perfect. And including this as well, he shaped it to where it's almost perfect. Other than the fact that this little gas cap gap is pretty big on this side compared to this side. Um, so the next step is, is to either cut this all and replace it, which is about a thousand dollars. Or we use a little bit of fiberglass just to kind of thicken this up over here just a little bit and then just use Bondo over all this. Just a very, very, very thin layer of Bondo just to get everything very smooth and then just paint it all. I mean, as in this point, we paid $1,400 um, to get this pulled out by a professional and everything lines up perfectly. You close the door. Everything looks really, really, really good. Everything locks perfectly. All the gaps are perfect. As you guys can see, there's a front over here as well. It's looking really, really, really good. Side skirts on there. Gaps are all looking really good. So yeah, we need fiberglass. We need a little bit of Bondo um, and this thing should be absolutely perfect. And then obviously it'll be ready for paint now as far as paint because you guys know this is a supra i don't want to just pay anybody to paint this car i would honestly head down to ssr performance right now um, but at the same time I, you know if we could find someone locally just to do a paint work that would be ideal now i would actually just go to ssr performance to get this stuff painted because honestly i love ssr performance i mean they have ssr auto body which does all their body work and their paint work and everything they do amazing work but i actually got in touch with someone locally that got the atlantis blue paint job painted so for those of you guys who don't know my f80 m3 was a salvage title was hitting the front end and it was completely rebuilt by my boy Nick and at the same time you got the whole front end painted to the point to where you can't even tell it's ever been repainted he did such a good job that I asked Nick I was like hey bro can we get in contact with him so we got in contact with him and hopefully hopefully this is all gonna be painted by the same guy that painted the Atlantis Blue M3 to the point to where you guys couldn't even tell that the thing was a salvage title literally the, none of you guys knew it was a salvage title until I actually ended up selling it because it literally looks absolutely perfect it was very well put together and that's the exact same way I want this car to turn out end of the day. Now that is gonna have to conclude the video. It's a very good update on the Supra. I got to drive my dream car. The, the exhaust notes you guys saw in that edit um, were fake, obviously. I got those from uh, Google. I found another R8 on Google, another R8 on YouTube, and I just took the audio from the rev clips. I put it on mine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that happened right there. There was no audio throughout the entire video, and it really sucked because me and my boy Nick were just having such a good time talking about it, and I was talking about blessings and manifesting. Um, I just think those are very, very, very important. Point. If there's anything you guys want in life, guys, make sure you chase after it. Anything is possible. Like literally things like, just things like this, like pulling in an engine out of a car. Never really think it's possible unless, like anything's possible, you just gotta say it's possible. Like end of the day, obviously I didn't actually pull this out on my own. I had my boy Armand come over, but he's really educated me. He taught me pretty much how to remove it. And honestly, guys, I think the next time we had to pull a motor out, um, yeah, I, it'll be a little bit tricky, but I definitely think I could pull a motor out on my own. And we're definitely gonna be installing, obviously, in an M3 motor into our wagon pretty soon. I mean, 
mean, when I say pretty soon, hopefully soon as we get a donor car. But yeah, just believing in something is very, very, very important. If you guys think that you're never gonna get, for example, a Supra or like an R8 or whatever, you will never get it. Like just the mentality alone is gonna help you become more successful. You say, hey, I will get a Supra one day, I will get an R8 one day, and you put things in your way to guide you into that path to like make you work harder, um, then you are definitely going in the right direction. You're definitely helping yourself manifest the dream. As you guys know, I put up a poster in my room that has the R8, and every time I look at that, I'm like, guys, one day, one day, I'm gonna get that. And like, no matter what, I will get that car. Hopefully this year, that is the goal. And just driving it the other day got me to like sit in it and just realize that I could be the guy that's in this car. That could be my car if I just work hard enough. So, so thank you guys so much for those of you guys who support the channel, support me. I know there's a million other YouTube channels and a million other Instagram accounts out there that you guys can go follow and watch, but I truly appreciate those of you guys who support me and watch my content. And I also hope that I can help some of you guys with your dreams accomplishing whatever that you guys are interested in. I am chatting with a lot of you guys on my Patreon. For those of you guys who want to get direct contact with me, talk about, you know, just like just random stuff. If you guys want to know how I got into cars, if you guys are wondering how to do certain things that I have done in the past and just, just have questions. For those of you guys who've already signed up for Patreons have asked me a million questions and I respond to every single one of you guys. Patreon is an absolute amazing platform because you guys get to support me directly and at the same time it gives me access to talk to you guys all individually and I'm going to be doing a live stream on there pretty soon as well. Not to mention that I already post behind the scenes on everything. For those of you guys who are on my Patreon, you guys know um, literally the day I drove the R8 and you guys know the day that we got this back from the frame shop. So for those of you guys who want updates, literally the moment that I get it, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. But without further ado guys, that is going to have to conclude the video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.